It, it would be the change of status. So when the 526 is approved, that's when you're going to be uh, not able to effectuate or apply for the I-485 change of status. So uh, that's something that you know, we all wish was different that it was actually after the conditional green card. Uh, and there's a lot of things politically that are hot topics for people in Washington right now. But as of now, there's no change and it, and it would be retrogressed and you'd be waiting for the change of status. What that means for all of our H-1B uh, individuals or people that are here on conditional uh, uh, employment-based visas, keep that in status until you're able to file a 485. Your lifestyle won't change very much, and you're here, and that's actually a major benefit compared to our investors in China. They're stuck overseas and they're just waiting. But being able to be here, you just need to keep the uh, visa that you have in status and just wait for the 485.